What's up everybody? Today I'm going to uh, do a review on a locomotive I bought. I think I purchased this yesterday. It is a Aethern Genesis GP15T. Um, right now we're uh, looking at the little booklet that comes with it. They made two different GP15s. They made a GP15-1 and a GP15T. Uh, the major differences between them, the uh, Dash 1 came out first. It had the uh, 645 12-cylinder non-turbocharged uh, prime mover, rated at 1,500 horsepower. And then the T model came out in 1982, and it featured a 8-cylinder V8 645 turbocharged, rated at 1,500 horsepower. Uh, chassis system bought most of these I think they bought 25 of them it says over here and they were all dynamic brake equipped and they were actually the only GP15 of any type to have dynamic brakes uh, the A&N which is a small short line in Florida they bought three were non-dynamic brake and then the GP15-1 uh, Chicago Northwestern Conrail Mopac and the Frisco so there was quite a bit of those made and then you can see where they all, a lot of them went to UP, or uh, some of the Conrail ones went to NS or CSX. And then, of course, all the Chessie System T models went to CSX. But, a little bit of information on the uh, prototype here. Now let's get to the model. This is a chassis system. Um, nicely uh, detailed, of course, being a Genesis. Aethern has took detail, I think, to a new level with uh, these Genesis locomotives. I'm going to point out some of the detail on it, starting at the bottom. Uh, you got you know, brake line piping. You got sanders on all the trucks. Nice truck detail. Got the filters here with all the... Uh, the line air lines and all that the fuel tank detail air tanks um yeah, you can see the sanders a little better right there and you get the decals on there it's like surface transportation board de decal uh, builder's plate uh, you got nice latches and everything on the battery boxes uh, they actually even went as far as to put right here on this little slit right here. I think this is a like a breather for the batteries or something. I, I'm not 100% sure, but this actually has a metal wire mesh grill in it. It has that on each side. And steps. And, of course, the handrail detail. It's got the uh, windows that, you know, open and close. And small little lift-out windows there. It's got the sun shades. Uh, nice grill details, nice dynamic brakes look really good. Uh, has the correct uh, long hood side mounted bail. Yeah, other decals. Uh, the grill back here, I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera, but it is actually see through, which is really neat that you can actually see through that. Um, let's go ahead and look at the rooftop. got the correct uh, Nathan K5LA horn painted silver just like the prototype uh, antenna wire uh, lift rings that's got the correct exhaust the dynamic brake fan which is really nice and then the, the grills back here which are really nice they uh, I think they actually nicknamed these a uh, baby tunnel motors because they were similar to the larger SD40T-2 and SD45T-2 tunnel motors with the way the radiators and the grills and everything in the rear of the locomotive was set up. I'll get a look at the back of it here. MU hoses, coupler cut bars, brake line piping, uh, wire grab irons, nice lights, class lights painted silver just like a 
chassis system locomotive, sand filler hatch, another grab iron, anti-climber on the rear, which is correct, and then you'll notice it doesn't have the chassis herald on the rear of it, which is, that is correct. Let's flip him around here to the other side. Pretty much the same deal over here. Um, speed speedometer or speed recorder cable thing here. And it's like I said, it's got that little metal grill. I think that's kind of kind of a nice little touch. Pump action brake. Um, it's got the uh, little hatch right here on the nose. That's kind of a cool little touch they added to it, which is correct. Um, another really cool thing I like is these really nice metal windshield wipers. They've done a hell of a job on those. Um, then down to the front, like I said, anti-climber on this side. MU hoses, couple of cut bars, all that. And it also has uh, almost all the Chessie System locomotives they bought new had this type of pilot. Uh, the SD50s, which was the last new power the Chessie System bought, they come with snow plows, but all other ones had these. These were called rock pilots. And they work, as the name implies, they were, you know, any rocks or anything that fell on the track, they were made to kind of just bump them off there. And that's why they were called rock pilots. I'm sure that probably helped, but I'm sure there's other times it probably ended up in the ditch, too. This is a Tsunami, Soundtrack Tsunami equipped sound locomotive. I'm going to run out of time, so I'm going to make another part two, and I'm going to put it on a layout and uh, listen to it and everything and go through all the features on it. But I just wanted to point out some of the details and stuff on it. But, uh... Stay tuned for uh, part two. I'm going to try to get it up as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.